Bon Crowder here with Math4.com. Math is not a four-letter word. Discussing division and multiplication with a really interesting curriculum tool. What you see here are the measure up cups from Discovery Toys. And not only do they have numbers on each one, but those numbers represent reality. So five is five bits of the one. So likewise, two is goes into four twice, or two will pour into four twice. And that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate. I've got a interesting bucket of sand over here that might just get a little bit more um, challenging than I hope. But I'm going to use that to look at multiplication and division. So I'm going to use the nine, the six, and the three. Mostly because they're three different colors, and so that's really kind of fun on video. So looking at 9, 6, and 3, the object right now is to see the relationship between them. So I'm going to fill up completely to the top, hopefully not getting any little presents that animals have left me, the 6 with sand. And then I'm going to look at 6 in relationship to 3. Luckily, I have something to hold this over, so I'm going to pour six into three, and there is one. Whoop! I just poured in there just so we can have a receptacle to hold it, and it should then fill this up. And of course, kids are going to have to sort of experiment experiment with how full is full. So I have two versions in there. Well, now notice now nine has. A bunch of sand in it. So I'm going to get some more sand in six here and I'm going to use some of it to pour in three and get my level of fullness and then I put it there and notice that that fills up nine. Interestingly if I pour the rest of six and three, we can see that now I've got six. I used two sixes. I used two versions of six, and I filled up nine one whole time and three one whole time. So we have a division here with six going into nine, or nine going into six once remainder three, or six going into nine once remainder three. I'll use some movie magic and put that on the bottom of the screen correctly. So the beauty of this is, is even if you don't know or the kid doesn't know exactly who goes into what, how many times in the remainder, it's the experimentation, it's the real world, touching it, holding it, knowing, okay, I see what's going on. Because not all of our brains work the same. As a matter of fact, I would venture that none of our brains work the same. And so this allows a kid to get in there and get their hands dirty, literally, and figure out which pieces go into and out of which other pieces. This is Von bon Crowder with Math4.com, reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.